Oh no. If a lot of you out there are in a, stuck in a job or in a mindset where you're looking to explore your career options, well, I want to break down for you today a bit of a reasoning why people are caught up in shit jobs. And I can relate with that. I've been sucked into the belly of the corporate beast before, and I'm sure it'll happen again, but I want to show you a little bit of growth and understanding and give you a different perspective on what's happening. Essentially, it all starts off one day when you're going about your business in school or after school, after you graduated, and someone asks, hey, what are you going to do for a job? And soon that turns into, when are you going to get a job? And then after that, it turns into, hey, why haven't you got a job yet? Meanwhile, they've never asked you about what is your passion. They never ask you that. You know why? You know why those people don't ask you that? Because they're caught up in their own insecurities and bullshit. And they've been affected by that pattern of questioning. They've been affected by that. And now they're passing that bullshit onto you. But... It's cool. No need to be afraid. Because if you truly believe you want to do something, then you can do it, man. You can fucking do it. If you pour enough energy, sweat, and perseverance into anything in this world, you'll be able to do it. I can't guarantee financial success. I can't guarantee that you'll be critically acclaimed. But I can guarantee one thing. If you put your heart and soul into something and live within truth, you'll be able to do whatever it is that you want to do. You might not be good at it, but you'll be able to do it. You'll be able to work at it at a steady rate. And chances are, you'll find out soon enough if you're cut out for it or not. But the key is to be humble. There are so many people in this world who do not have the opportunity to do what they want to do. Because like the old saying goes, the world needs garbage, man. If you're going to pick up garbage, then do it from a place that is totally secure and totally within truth. For instance... If you have an aim that you're going to buy a house, or if you have an aim that you're going to own your own business, then pick up garbage. There's nothing wrong with that. If you're working away and earning your dreams, if you're working away to make your dreams come true, so you're taking night classes at an art school, then pick up garbage. Pick up garbage, because you have that goal, you have that end mindset. For myself, I worked in a corporate job doing online marketing. So what I would do is I'd work for Australia's biggest companies and put together online marketing plans. How they can make money off their websites. But did it truly make me happy? I mean, I fucking worked my ass off, man. At one point, I was earning over 100 grand a year. At one point, I was working 70 hours a week. At one point, I was not only working my full 9-to-5 job, but I was also freelancing with my own business, and it was very lucrative. And I, I am glad that I sweated my ass off, but let me give you an insight on what hell looks like. You ready? It's a fluorescent light bulb that's constantly beaming in your eyes, but you've never been able to see light, and the air is stale, and you're surrounded by all of these unhappy people, and you're in a ergonomic office chair that hurts your back anyway, and you can't eat, you, you, your keyboard's always working, and it's always fucking hurting your wrists, and you're caught up with the glare of a monitor, and by the time that you walk out of your fucking day job, you come out and your eyes are stale, and they're fucking hurting and weeping, because you haven't blinked all fucking day. And meanwhile, you bring your work home, and you, you're caught up in work, because your clients are unhappy, and you, you've lied to them all day, or you fucking, you had to upsell them, and you had all of these, you know, big ambitions of making money off, off the back of someone else, and your boss is forever hounding you on the upsell, 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 let's meet our sales quality. Oh, you want a fat commission, don't you? Upsell, upsell, upsell. But you come home and you feel like shit. Because you've never had enough time to do all the work that you want. And you ask your boss for fucking resources, but he never gives it to you. And so you go to sleep, but you can't get a decent, deep, deep sleep. You can't get that doing this routine. You're caught up in the bullshit. Never again, man. My first job, I was living in Epping, 
and I was working in Frankston. That's a two and a half hour one way trip. I was traveling five hours a day for 300 bucks a week for seven months doing a doing a fucking trainee ship and system administrations that I didn't complete. But it got my foot in the door. And that I'm glad. I can open up a laptop, travel all around the world, and I can earn enough money to support myself in a third world or second world country. And I'm glad that I've got that opportunity now, but I'm putting the past behind me. Every day when I took the train in the morning and went from my house into the city, I looked around myself and all I saw were unhappy people, man. You know, you'd have like one person over there just fucking snoozing away because they didn't get enough sleep last night. You got this other furious looking serious guy in a business suit sipping out of a little fucking container full of coffee. Mmm, well, let's see what's on the Herald Sun today. Mmm, all the stocks are down and Tony Abbott doesn't give a fuck about us. Well, fuck the boat people, I don't give a shit. Uh, 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 uh. It's enough to make you want to cry. It's enough to make you want to cry because you look around at all of these unhappy people and then you realize that you're one yourself. Caught up in the belly of the beast. And your heart's pounding as soon as you walk off the train and you're fucking rushing and you think, oh my fucking God, I'm going to be late for work again. And your boss doesn't give a fuck because when you go into work and you're five minutes late, regardless of how much work that you've done, regardless of how much work you've done, regardless of how much money you made him, you're his employee, bitch, and if he thinks that you haven't got there at the appropriate time, he's gonna fucking ram you in the fucking ass for no fucking reason. I agree. Be punctual. I agree with that. But come on, man. But come on, man. I've been in boardrooms. I've been in boardrooms talking to some of Australia's biggest CEOs and power brokers. These are people who are marketing managers, directors, on the board of directors. And I thought, man, this is a fucking farce. Why, 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 why am I here? Why am I here? And I'm just, I'm, I'm just looking there and, you know, I, I, I'm presenting. I'm basically talking to them about, you know, all the fucking marketing reports. This is how many people have converted on their website. This is how much traffic they've got. Meanwhile, I'm thinking to myself, am I ever going to be an actor, man? What am I doing here? It ain't for me. It ain't for me no more. It ain't, I, I can't. It just ain't, it ain't for me, man. I might get another job again. I don't really know. It just depends on how, uh, how life goes. But I can tell you one thing. If I do do it, I'm going to do it with the plan. I'm going to do it with the goal. I'm going to do it with the understanding that I'm not going to work my ass off for them. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit back and do overtime anymore. I'm doing it because I like doing it and I choose to be there. You choose to be there. You don't need the job, man. You choose to be at work. And that's empowering when you put it in that perspective. Because no longer do you have to go with someone else's rudeness and think, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take your, your harsh criticism with a smile on my face. No, it doesn't work like that at all. I choose to be here, motherfucker. I choose to be here. And if you act like a son of a bitch to me, that's cool, man. I'm walking out the door. I'm going somewhere that I can be treated like a decent human being. Not a punching bag for a corporate fucktard. That's where true empowerment lies, my friends. That's where true empowerment lies. Spreading your creative wings. Being able to do exactly whatever it is you want to do. But doing it in such a way that you're living within truth. See, most people don't live within truth. I find myself caught up in that. Am I here being busy, playing the role of someone who wants to make a YouTube video? Or am I residing in truth? Am I centering myself over the message that I'm trying to say? Those are two separate and completely different ideologies, believe it or not. You'll smell it a mile away. Look at anyone's YouTube channel and find out, see for yourself. I'll give you a perfect example. When you look at Jenna, Jenna Marbles, her videos are great because she's completely within the creative spirit. She's completely living with inside truth, which is my neatly scripted idea of a funny YouTube video. She's honed her skills over such a large period of time that now it's perfected. 
And you were able to see that. And you know that she's not caught up in these delusions about, I'm going to make a YouTube video for the sake of making a YouTube video. She's completely and utterly committed to the bringing her mental idea onto the video canvas. Why are you working for? I want to ask you right here, right now, why is it you're working? For what purpose are you working? Is there a long-term aim? Or are you doing it for a tangible object, like a home? Are you doing it to please someone, like your parents, like your partner? What are, what are you working for, man? What's, what's the ultimate reason why you're working? What the fuck is your passion, man? Like, what, what, what's your passion? What the fuck is your passion? I want you to just ask yourself, what the fuck is my passion? I found my passion when I was doing drama class. Man, when I'm up on stage and I enter that complete self-awareness, that truth, that inner truth, that I am the character and the character is me, and I'm expressing this to the world, and I'm delivering my own interpretation of what's going on, and I'm completely and utterly losing myself in the moment. I'm not there. I'm not self-conscious. I'm not caught up in anxiety. I'm, a, I'm literally outside of myself. I'm above myself. I've transcended myself on stage. And when I'm within that point, that frame point, I don't have any need for human desires. I don't have any need to impress anyone, man. It's just me right here, right now. What are you working for? Look me in the eyes right now. Like, what are you working for? What is it that you're working for, man? Dude, I know it hurts. I know, I know waking up in the morning hurts and you're full of anxiety. You're full of depression and you don't like doing what you're doing on a day to day basis, but you're forced to do it anyway. Well, hey, it's just a mental construct that you're trapped in. It's just a mental construct that you're trapped in. And you have the freedom and ability to wake up tomorrow and to not be a part of it anymore. And yes, it will be scary. Yes, you won't have the security and comfort of knowing where your next meal is, but maybe it's good to starve. Maybe it is good to do without all of these materialistic things, because I tell you what, those aren't what's going to provide you true happiness. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're not going to provide you true happiness with what you want to do. Do you think scanning your ticket every morning at the fucking train station barriers, going to work in a rush state, is going to help you get to where you need to go? Come on, man. You're only fooling your fucking self. That's what you're doing. You're fooling yourself every morning thinking... I'm eating and shoveling in this bullshit idea that someone else has given me, but it's not exactly what I want to do. So what is it what you want to do, huh? What the fuck is it you want to do? Hmm? I can't hear you. What is it you want to do? We have the inability... We have the complete and utter inability when we're in a trance-like state to look out and take stock of everything that's around us. Don't delude yourself, man. Because when you're very aware and you're conscious about what's going on, then you're able to question these things and you're able to think outside of yourself. You're able to think about the bigger picture. You're able to be more conscious about what's happening. More aware. Don't delude yourself anymore, man. Don't delude yourself, because it's very tiring. I'm planting a seed here, and I hope you understand and invite yourself to really accept it in your life. And if you're in a bad situation, just know that a lot of people have been, and there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm extremely glad that I'm able to do what I want to do now, and I'm never going to look back. I'm never going to look back. Because I have a purpose in life now. And that's to find truth. Whether it be writing a book and discovering truth within that. Whether it be making a video and living in truth this way. Or whether it be acting on stage and living in truth that way. I can only hope I can live in truth as long as I can. And I'm not going to control it. I'm going to surrender into it. Because you, you can't control these things. You just, you, you can't control it. 
Fear no more. Fear no more. Things will be better. And love yourself. Take care of yourself. It's the only thing you can do in this sick world. I mean, what else is there to do?